So yeah, so vitamin K, there's a few things that are recommended for newborns after they're born. Um, and you know, immediately after they're born, besides all the assessments, making sure they're okay, right? Your APGAR scores and drying them off and warming them and weighing them. Um, most infants, uh, what's recommended that infants get uh, erythromycin ointment into their eyes, um, which helps prevent uh, possible eye infection, um, but caused by different bacteria, which if you didn't, if you didn't treat, and the newborn period could be very um, detrimental. It's not that, you know, it's, we don't see it much because of the ointment. And some, it's a very benign thing to do, just smear a little bit of this antibiotic ointment in the infant's eyes. And, and some, um, you know, some people don't want to do that because it's something, you know, that's, you know, additional, but it's extremely safe. The other thing is this vitamin K shot which helps, which some infants when they're born are, are set up to have a, basically uh, hemorrhages uh, or bleeding problem due to low vitamin K. And it's not that common, but it can happen. And if it happens because of a low vitamin K, it can be disastrous. And it's just a vitamin K shot. I just say just, but it is vitamin K. It's an injection. Your baby's just been born. And it helps um, make sure they have adequate uh, amount of vitamin K, which helps in the clotting uh, system. And you know, some parents don't want to do that because, again, it's not, um, it's invasive, right? It's a shot. The baby just is born. It's not natural. Uh, but the problem is if you don't do it, and we didn't do it, you know, how many years ago? I forget when we started doing it. It was before my time. The outcomes could be extremely poor, and just this one injection um, helps prevent that. So I would talk to parents about that. Yeah, I mean, a lot of kids would be fine if they didn't get it, but if it's your child that doesn't get it and then has this hemorrhagic disease of the newborn, which is called a significant bleeding issue, it's it's awful, but it's easily preventable. But those are, I'm happy to talk to them about it. Is there any side effect other than pain? No. No, no right? No. But people, you know, people, and I and I get this as a parent and as a pediatrician, you know, people feel they don't want to do anything that's not natural. Um, but there's a lot of things that we do now that we didn't do before, and they prevent extremely bad outcomes in infants. And the infant mortality rate, if not the childhood mortality, mortality rate has plummeted over the years for so many different reasons. And it could be seatbelts, it could be it could be bicycle helmets, it could be um, placing kids on their back to sleep, right? You know. You could say all these things are unnatural, you know, but they help prevent illnesses and they and, and they help save lives. And a simple um, smearing of some antibiotic ointment in your uh, infant's eyes when they're born prevents blindness, uh, uh, bad infection. And a simple shot of vitamin K prevents you know a disastrous uh, you know hemorrhage. Yeah, not doesn't always happen. I mean, I could I could probably very easily drive from my from my house down the street to Starbucks to be fine without a seatbelt. But we do know that some of the you know, most you know, accidents happen very commonly, you know, near, from, um, near your house. So why take that chance, yeah. right? That's, and I get it, I get it. Um, but we just know it, save, it saves lives.